We return with not only scrap of paper remaining on our person. You, you will note. You both have my thanks and my apologies for sending you on a errand far below your ambitions. Why? Even as a babe, you struggle out of your swindling clothes and... That's quite enough of that, thank you! It was a compromised story of our parents that we asked to hear. To... We need... Um, we didn't... We, we need to see it? We need to see it? I think that's how I pronounce it. <laughs> of course, of course. I know your father for so long. I must have something. Hmm. Well, as you know, part of my Luvier name grammars of such respect in Charlene is your family story's history. You two can trace your ancestry directly to those who claim came aboard the new you could hope, and ladies few can claim. I never thought much about it myself. It's not that though our forebearers found our nation. They simply were there when it happened. Nevertheless, it is a traditionally been to point out our pride. This is why Nekrov pronouncement renounced the ways of war and pursued enlightenment through knowledge and reason has ever been our family's creed. Until your grandfather's time, I Action Louis look into the Nekrovov words. But he deeds, he inserted, indifference of his peers that choose to save the great and the small of the rising ties was a true mark of our founder's virtue. Perhaps it was his exper expertise, his knowledge of the ancient philosophies and the fall of the civilization that led him to conclude that the issue of conflicts at every turn was the consigning mankind to its doom. There will ever be conflict and calamity will follow. Thus, to ignore the plight of those who one might constantly save is not a wisdom, it's idolence. You remember his words well. Indeed, Arca and Louis Suarez lived by that personal creed and used every means in his personal to bring succor to those in need. Charlian or no? No one loved and admired your grandfather more than his son. Yet, for could not we can reconcile Louis Soir's deed with the with their philosophy of their forebears and his peers, a philosophy in which he believed so fervently, yet made a parish, baby Paris of his father. For Soir agonized over this con con contradiction for much of his life. Gods. Father? A son may carry his father's blood, but his choices are his own to bear. Is it not always thus? God knows Fartrod is a cranky old goat, so I'm sure you butt heads enough often. Yet even so, you must know that you are constantly in his thoughts, every moment of every day, and that is not an exaggeration in the slightest. You should have seen them when you were born. Barely recognizable. He was with a kind and dumbfounded grin that I had not seen when he first took a fancy to your mother. He was practically skipping when he told me of the news. Take my word for it. He loves you to an embarrassing degree. <laughs> but he is also frankly single-minded. Once he decides that a given action is for the best, he will stay the course no matter who or what opposes him. I profoundly annoyed habit when you are on the other end of it, and as I am sure you all will agree. On how much he knows about their father, it almost feels like they're like your godfather. <laughs> I say. Thank you for your insight. When we, next, when we next meet our parents, I shall mention that we spoke. Try not to get me into trouble now. 
I need the form of my sign, you know. Speaking of which, I ought to get back to work. I have to make sure the specials you brought is make their proper places. Or the cranky old goat will have my hide. We can speak again later. Nice. Hell you there! Oh, hi, Graha. Graha, surely Kokoro hasn't driven out of the forest already? For the better or for worse, no. However, he has set me a task to acquire more than a single pair of hands. And here you are. I can use at least one of you, but I won't object to more. Unfortunately, as I have prior commitments, and we have delayed too too long as it is. What about you, Artorius? Can you spare time? Sure, why not? I'm here to help anyone in need, which is in my nature. Perfect! This shouldn't take long. Alright, switch back to Gunbreaker. One sport. In the event of our, and I quote, promised herb of adamant fall, right out of the blight sky into my lap, Master Kokoro wishes to be ready to put the provisional hammer to the anvil at any moment's notice. To fabricate these parts, however, he needs to the he needs the flames in Kokoro's forge to burn hotter. He set me to increase the amount of aether being funneled to his furnace. The flow of Fire aspect air in Labyrinth is regulated by the elemental reactor south of here, to which I have borrowed the key. The adjustments require two people to carry out safety, but I can explain the process when we arrive. This is where we part ways then, I suppose. We will see a shot and harm once Adamite arrives, if not before. I'll see you, Alice, Avnod. This way then! Well, oh, lead the way up, I'm Graha. And while we're here, might as well redeem a couple of these chesses. And get myself a new accessory, switch my glamour. Alright. So where is this one? Way over here, okay. So far, so good. How long have I been recording now? Now we're in le one minute, okay. Making up good time. Alright, here we are. The reactor is housed within this facility. I'll be the one to go inside and adjust the fire interior output. And I'm guessing you want here to guard while you're doing this. When I do, a rather large amount of water aspect of air will issue from the vent of the top. I expect this will attract at least a few elementals, which should be both rather not drawn into the reactor itself, trust me. Can I ask you that you put down any, any that draws too, too near? They pose you a little trouble, I'm sure. Why not? Right there, if you would. Alright. Alright, let's deal with these pests while he's doing that. Oh, hi. This is gonna be too easy. That's it. Alright, two down. And another two they need to deal with. A 
least it don't take that long to kill, thank god. That's it? Alright. Did everything go so smoothly out here? Well, Peachy took care of them in no time flat. I thought as much. No major complications to speak of inside either. And the water either appears to be venting properly. I expect Coker will have the, seen a difference in his forest flames by the time we turn. Oh, I return. Since I have you, there is another matter I thought I'd discuss with you. And that is... Nothing terribly important, merely something I've been considering. Part of this I share with everyone, yet you and only you have been to Elibis, right? Yeah. As we have established, refined adamantite is a product of Alien, of the Empire's twilight years, in fact. It was a material which saw much used in the part of the Alligans' efforts to extend beyond the bounds of this world. Dalimut, of course, being the most prominent. Of those who would push further, expanding Alligan Empire to impass the heavens and the stars above, perhaps the greatest was is the infamous technology Amon. Yeah. Amon wanted to try out the stars. Did he remember his life as Hermes? Well, in his last moments, he was. I believe he had his own reasons. There's no evidence to suggest that he retained more memories of his former life. He only joined the Askins once the Empire was all but dust, as you know. If not for his memories, though, what drove him to pursue the idea with what such fever? This may seem far-fetched, but what if the soul, like minds, have a personality to speak of, so to speak of? A neutral disposition towards which they are in included, inclined? We know we We know with relative good certainty that it was the most Gross decades, denizens of the inextricable decline of Alligan that moved Amon to resurrect Emperor Zondet. The Empire's people spoke highly of the death and destruction, experimenting on those deemed beneath them to fill their emptiness in their hearts. In facilitating Zondet's return, Amon provided these languid souls of the means to free themselves from the mire of their own. I don't lessons. Or rather, have. Had not Zhang Yu been convinced by his own death that life itself was meaningless. Among the desire for his countrymen to conquer the heavens could only be a means to an end. To steal the people with new hope. Like Hermes before him, Amon was appalled by those around him lived. But could not bring himself to believe that those lived were be devoid of meaning, and brought them sought that meaning, that hope, in the distant star. Such is my theory, anyway. A very good theory, in, my f in fact. Ultimately, it is the consequences of their action which matters. Their motives are of no moment, and yet, to reach these those stars on wings of adamantite, to travel the en to the ends of the creation and beyond, the promise of hope everlasting. That much I do understand. But enough mus musing for now. Why do we see to how Kakuro is getting on? Yeah, let's. I'm pretty sure he's kind of worried about where we are right now. Or. Why is that taking things so damn long to get back? Can I teleport there? Uh, nope. 
Alright, let's teleport here and then just hop it on my bike going back there. Alright, finally we're back here after a long trek getting back to this Corcoras 4 plaza. And while we're here, might as well switch back to my Dragoon, which will get this level up. Phew! I can feel those flames a blessing from here! Glad you found some capable, Graha. But there's not much left for you to do. A lot, lot of you to do. Unless you can conjure up that refined Adamatite any faster. Bum 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 89. Alright, back to Gunbreaker. Bound of Adamantites. And we get a Aether Current and a Headpiece. Nice. <sighs> I do trust you to deliver on your promise. I do. Only... I hate waiting! I want that Adamantite and I want it now! Where, uh, share your impatience, I assure you. It is truly nothing else we can assist you with in the meantime. I wish this sitting about unbearable. Pity the form frown for rational exp exp um, explosion. Expo explosion, I mean. <laughs> well, so long as they can't prove it, it was permitted. Get you gone. I'll make no mistake. In that case, I suppose I should go and return the key to the reactor. I have one more to look up to make sure there's nothing got gone wrong. Unintentionally or, or otherwise. I am certain there are better use of your time. However, I will join you in the Charlotte Harmony of Amun. Alright, so we're going back to the Hamlet. Let's just teleport there. Quicker. Need to move that down a little bit. Alright. So, who to talk to now? In your heat. If you wait here, your command are bound to turn up sooner or later. Yep, let's wait for them. Thank you guys for watching my recording session for Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker's main MXQ. And if you have any comments, put them down below the video as well. And if you like this video, please click the like button. It's very much appreciated. If you are curious on whatever I upload on my YouTube channel, you can give it a look. And if you're curious on getting in touch on what I upload, you can subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. And of course, I have projects that are going on my channel, which is our right now Final Fantasy XIV Raid, Trial, MSQ Broadcast, Dropkick's Minions Mounts, anything related to Final Fantasy XIV. Secondly, which will be Freight Grand Order, Lost Bill 4, 5, the um, events, the challenge quests, and anything that are related to Fate Grand Order. And lastly, which will be Curse Turn of 5, the Royal. Whenever the existence of actually starting to record that again will be in the near future. And that. This has been Raven Sleep 45. Take care, stay safe, and have a pleasant Final Fantasy 14 day.